Everybody in a relationship wants it to prosper. Everybody wants to be happy. People want their relationships to work out. But a lot of people let these little tiny issues actually destroy the bigger picture and the happiness and the, the bigger good thing that they could otherwise enjoy. And I want to give you a quick tip here about what's helped me in my marriage to have a better marriage and save me my own happiness and sanity and as well as that of my wife. And this tip I'm going to give you today, if you ask my wife, she'll tell you the exact same thing. All right, so if you're struggling in a relationship, maybe it's in your marriage, maybe you don't know what's working, one really good first step to take is this. If you get into an argument, or should I say when you get into an argument, <laughs> because it's going to happen, trust me. One of the biggest things over the past 10 years that saved our marriage, in a lot of ways, we were never really on the rocks, but one thing that saved our marriage a lot of trouble is if we get into an argument, and we, I'll, we'll walk away from it, we'll let the fire die down, but when we do, I look at the argument very objectively. I'll get outside the argument, I'll get outside myself, and I'll look at it objectively, meaning removing myself, my ego, everything from it. And if I conclude that I was in the wrong, or maybe if I said something in a way that could have been said better, and I, and I, can, I can honestly look at myself and say, okay, I know that's why that probably went that direction because I said this or I did that, I'll go back and I'll say I'm sorry afterwards. I have no problem stepping outside of a situation and looking at it and seeing if I actually was in the wrong. Now, I'm not always in the wrong, but sometimes I am. And it's amazing how disarming it is when you go to the other person after the fire has died down and you tell them, I'm sorry, I was wrong in this. I think what you were trying to say was this and what I was trying to communicate was that and here's how I said it. Now, I don't usually do it right in the midst of the fire of in the heat of the argument because it just kind of feels, it's just not the best place for it. But after you've had a few minutes to, to cool off, both of you, you, look at your situation, look at the argument. And if you were actually in the wrong, have the guts and the integrity to admit you were wrong and to apologize. And it's amazing how, again, disarmed the other person can become. Because usually when somebody apologizes and admits they were wrong, the other person doesn't just keep shooting at them. Because both people generally want peace. And if you just apologize, and if you were wrong, don't. and here's the thing, don't apologize if you weren't wrong. Now, a lot of people say, well, you know, I apologize one way or another. I've heard people do this. They, they apologize one way or the other, the other just to keep the peace. Don't do that because here's what's going to happen. You might think you're keeping the peace by apologizing even if you weren't wrong, but what that's going to do inside you over time is breed resentment for that other person because you're always admitting that you're wrong even when you don't truly believe you are. All right, so you need to get outside the situation and look at it. If you get into an argument, if you have some sort of fight, Look at it objectively, have the guts, have the integrity to admit you were wrong if you were. And if you're not wrong, don't admit you're wrong. But con conductively try and help the other person see your point of view and what you really meant and talk through it. The minute you start yelling, forget it, no progress is going to be made. All right, so if you're wrong, admit it. This will not only work in your marriage or any other relationship, this will save you a ton of trouble in life in general. So if you're wrong, admit to it, be the bigger person, become better, and move on and enjoy life.